Lunar Orbiter 1 was launched on August 10, 1968 at 7.31pm UTC from Launch Complex 13 at Cape Canaveral. Riding on an Atlas Agena rocket, its goal was to become the first American probe to orbit the moon, following Luna 10, which was the first to do so overall. It was mainly meant to photograph the lunar surface to generate detailed maps, but also carried a variety of scientific instruments, including, quite importantly, instruments to gauge the gravitational field and geology of the moon. While changes in Luna 10's orbit suggested a non-uniform distribution of the moon's gravitation to Soviet scientists, that probe lacked the instrumentation to measure it, instruments that would be added to Luna 11, which would launch two weeks after Lunar Orbiter 1. This probe did make initial measurements of the anomalies, the mass concentrations or mass cons for short, but because they were not anticipated, it was also doomed by them. While mission planners had thought they had sent enough propellant for Lunar Orbiter 1 to stay in orbit for a year, it was instead pulled down, impacting on October 29th in just about two and a half months. Its original orbit was at 1,867 kilometers by 189.1 kilometers, and that paraloon, the closest point to the moon, just kept dropping. At certain points, they dropped it deliberately to get closer pictures, but it did get pulled down by the mass concentrations. Fortunately, it was able to transmit most of the photographs it was expected to, and the other instruments, detecting micrometeorites and radiation, both important for the shielding of the crewed lunar landing, worked as well. Its orbit had a low inclination because rather than trying to cover all of the moon, it was focused on gathering information about potential landing sites, which were all nearly equatorial. All five Lunar Orbiter missions were successful, and thanks to the data from Lunar Orbiter 1, they all lasted longer. Lunar Orbiter 2 nearly made the full year, lasting from November 6, 1966 to October 11, 1967, about 11 months, and it sent back some images with 1 meter resolutions during its close passes over the Sea of Tranquility. Incidentally, the system to take the photographs was adapted from one used by the National Reconnaissance Office and had been meant for the U-2 and SR-71 spy planes. The images accumulated by these missions were handed to Farouk Elbaz, who was the principal investigator for visual observations and photography of the moon, the secretary of the Apollo Landing Site Selection Committee, and headed astronaut training on identifying formations on the moon, especially for the command module pilots who would spend long periods alone in orbit observing the lunar surface. His role was featured in episode 10 of the documentary From Earth to the Moon, and was only made possible by the information gathered by the Lunar Orbiter missions. Thank you for watching this mission profile of Lunar Orbiter 1.